Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. All we have to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All we have to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All we have to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. All we have to say. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, today I would love us to look at the book of Jude. Let us look at the book of Jude. There's something very important the Lord wants us to learn. <clears throat> I want to bless God and thank him for making it possible for us to, learn, to go through the John, 1st John, 2nd John, and 3rd John. So you're welcome. Let us go and look at the book of Jude. Jude, Jude is after the 3rd John. Jude, we look at the book of Jude. There is something important the Lord wants us to learn. Praise God. If we have someone who love to read for us, please the book of Jude. The book of Jude. If someone would love to read, please. Amen. I have no power of my own. Holy Spirit of the Lord. Yeah, well. <clears throat> I will do the reading. The book of Jude is after 3 John. Here we continue. You can follow me. Even those on Facebook is a blessing. Let us read together. Praise God. Let us. Let us experience this blessing together. There's something important the Lord wants us to study. <clears throat> Amen. I will begin reading my beloved sisters and brother. Yeah. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ has called. Amen. Just bring us here in your family. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I read again. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. So it started by describing who George, Jude is. Here the Bible reminds us that Jude was a brother to James. James was one of the apostles of Jesus Christ. So he wrote this letter writing to them who are sanctified, which me and you. Praise God. So Jude. <clears throat> And he went further and said, preserve in Jesus Christ and called. It means <clears throat> whoever that is in Christ, Jesus has been called and even is preserved. Preserved in circumstance, situation, meaning what you may be going through as an individual. It will not really destroy you because Christ will make sure that you are preserved. Amen. Now, <clears throat> he went further, verse 2. Of Jude, he said, Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. So, this is a prayer or a declaration he made, a decree to all that are followers of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, Mercy to you and I and peace and love be multiplied. I decree the same words to each one of you that are under influence of my voice. 
that mercy and peace, mercy, peace, and love be multiplied to you in Jesus' name. Meaning, may you find mercy before God. May you find peace in the midst of every turbulence, every trouble, and experience the love of God. Verse 3. Someone can help me and write Jude down so that whoever come can easily follow up. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend, contend for the faith which was one delivered unto the same. Now here I mention a key word about contentment. Meaning, as a Christian, it's very important to be content of the, of the faith of our Lord. What does that mean? If you may not have all that you want, be content knowing Christ Jesus through his faith, you are able to go through either with or without. So, he gave us when I gave all diligence to write, meaning it took time to write all about the common salvation, the salvation which we know our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. It was needed for him to write unto us and to exhort us, meaning be encouraged in the midst of what you are going through. You may be on the sick bed. I want to let you know that that sick bed, it is not where you belong. So in the name of Jesus, before the end of the forum, I command you to rise of, out of that foot. Seek me. So be exalted, meaning be lifted up. Let your spirit wake up. Feel encouraged. As the Bible makes us clear to us, let the sick say, I am healed. Let the poor say, I am blessed. And let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. Many a times I have realized, Christian, if you base your relationship with God, as a result after prayer, you will soon fall. A true Christian is the one who says, thank you, Jesus, when there is food on the table and when there is no food on the table. So I pray you be that way. So be encouraged. For there are certain men in aware who were before of all ordained to this condemnation and godly men turning the grace of our God into luxuriousness and denying the only Lord and our Lord Jesus Christ. So he talked about some men who were once like believers, but really they were not. So such people be aware of them. Already they have been, their judgment is already have been passed. So they are just waiting to be condemned. Such, be aware of such individuals. Praise God. I would want you to know, when you hear the Bible warned us earlier on, right from the beginning, even before we were created. So these people have been always there. They will claim to be of God, but really they are against God. They will claim to be Christian, but they are really denying the really power of God. So such people, they are They have already been delivered to Satan. So he went further. For there are, he said, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that they believed not. So he gave an example that the Lord Jesus, or oh, our heavenly Father, we know how he delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt. And afterwards, he destroyed them, those who did not believe. What does that mean? Yes, if you have chosen to believe to the God, God will take care of you. But if you start be not believing, don't be surprised if you are destroyed. Just as you remember what happened to the, to the Israelites. Many of them, God made them to come out of Egypt. But out of their disobedience, Yes, we know very well that out of their disbelief, they were destroyed in the wilderness. So I pray that you continue to believe. For we know very well God, there is no fertility in his judgment, his justice. 
there is no favorites. After the angel which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chain and darkness unto the judgment of the great day. We know very well angels of the also they went astray and God have preserved them for destruction. That's where even Satan is included. He was not content in the position God had given him. Pride entered him. Now he has been preserved for the day of judgment to be destroyed forever. What does that teach us? It teaches us if you have decided to live in faith, continue in faith until Jesus returns. But if you like a little backslide, just know the judgment will wait you. Praise God. For we know very well the wages of sin are dead. There is no other way. I continue by saying that imagine there are those angels who are disobedient. They have been preserved. They have been kept. They are under chain or waiting for that great day judgment, where the dead will rise to be judged, and even people, every people will be judged according to everyone what he has done. Praise God. He went further and said, verse 7, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah, and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance, vengeance of internal fire. He gave example of Sodom and Gomorrah. We know what really happened. This, they gave themselves in fornication in a sense whereby a man was after a man, a woman after a woman. They have lost the really natural affection. They were not even obedient to God. Even when God sent angels to, to warn them, they could not listen. So you see what happened to them. And they have been preserved for our remembrance and the warning. What does that mean? If anyone decides to live in sin, just remember, you are shortening your days. It's my right to ask that, listen to me. Let us take God serious and be consistent in our commitment to God so that we may not enter judgment. Likewise, also, this filthy dreamer defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of the Virginities. So, these are people who love to say dreams. They have dreamed. But the truth is, many of the dreams they dream is not coming from God. And for them, they do not respect any authority or dominion given to men that lead maybe the child, children of God. For such people, uh, wait, judgment is waiting them. He said, Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil in dispute after the body of Moses, does not bring against him a rolling occasion, but said the Lord rebuke him. So here he gave an example of Angel Michael. When he was contending with Satan concerning Moses' body, he did not insult him, but he just said, God, may the Lord rebuke you. What does that mean? Him, in all power that you give authority, he still remain humble knowing that God does not allow any bad thing come out of our mouth. That's why he said, may the Lord rebuke you. He rebuked the devil. And, but this speak evil of those things which they know not, but they know naturally as brute beasts. In those things they corrupt themselves. So these are the kind of people. They speak bad of God. They blaspheme God. They even say things they do not really know. And many followers follow them. So such people, the Bible have called them beasts, brute beasts. I know one thing, that judgment is waiting. So when you come to such occasion, if our guests, uh, you come to such, meet such people who blaspheme the name of God or speak evil against God and his son, run away, don't even waste time arguing them. Because they really don't know what they are saying. They only know things of the flesh. That is all they know. More than that, they don't know. Praise God. 
Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and run greatly after the error of Balaam, for reward and perish in the gain, gain of Korah. Okay. He gave an example. We remember Cain, he killed his brother Abel because of just hatred. Abel he did the right thing, and Cain decided to slay his brother. So if somebody decides to do wrong, he's going on the way of Cain. Cain. He went further and said, look here. He gave an example. Balaam. We know Balaam, in the day he was hired to, to cast the Israelites. So it, he said, these people have taken that whereby uh, they have considered gain, what they can get in, in salvation in Christianity. People have made church as a source of income. This is whereby they say, if you want to meet a man of God, you have to register here and you have to pay money. Particularly, you pay different money amounts. Such people, he say, woe unto them, because they have chosen the gain to be paid, to be honored by men. I remember in those days in Uganda, there is somewhere I went to meet, I don't know, I will not mention the man. They say he's a prophet. We enter somewhere, we have to register. That's first registration is free. The second one now, where you need to be prayed for, you have to put some money down. So we had to put down. And another set also, you have to put money to meet a man of God. The one they call the man of God. Such people, that is their end. Because it is just like a way of Balaam. He chose to be higher, to do wrong. Praise be to God. Again, saying of Korah, saying, There are sports in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without, without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about with wind, trees whose fruits with wither without fruit, twice dead black up by the road. Roots. Hey, Jesus. You can imagine clouds without rain. These are examples. They show that it will rain, but indeed it will not rain. Meaning all the things they do, it has no way to take people. It has an end. You have ended up saying, these are spots in your feasts, meaning they come in our midst. He said, feast of charity. They, they are just with, they are with us, they are among us, but really they are not for us. Whereby, they pretend to be acting the act of love, charity, but they have their personal intention, how they can gain. The Bible continues and says, they feed themselves without fear. They feed themselves without fear. What does that mean? They find out to extract things from people, and they are not scared. They don't care. As long as you give them, that's what they do. They don't care without fear. He said, clouds they are without water, carried about with winds, which means they are tossing up and down. You will hear them here, you will hear them there, everywhere, just like a wind when you see a paper or being tossed by wind. It has no definite location. Where a wind blows it, where it will go. Such people, and their fruit, they are without fruit, twice dead, black up by the roots. They are uprooted by the root. This is what means their end when they disappear, will not even hear them, mention them. You will hear their name again. Praise God. I will read it. Rangy waves of sea, forming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom in reserve the blackness of the darkness of ever. Imagine. That is what it will happen to them. They are just waves of the sea. What does that mean? They cause the destruction. They cause confusion. They cause the trouble. You know what it means? Wave. Wave can be sickness, can be disease. They don't have anything. They can help somebody apart from taking everything that someone may be relying on. They are blackness and darkness forever. They are in darkness forever. The bad thing they may not really know because 
everyone followed. And Enoch also, the seventh from Abraham, prophesied of this saying, Behold, the Lord come with them, thousands of you. Enoch prophesies of this, that the Lord is coming with thousands. Praise God. To execute judgment upon all, to convince all that are ungodly, among them of all. Their ungodly deeds with their having ungodly committed. And of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. I will stop there, verse 15. I will say this that the Lord is going to execute judgment upon all, meaning both big and small ships. So if you know that there will be a judgment, you can mind how you ought to live and how, how life you have to live your life. I will stop there. I will stop there, praise God. So please, if you have something to say from Jude, verse 1 to verse 15, please say something before we see what to do. Please. I just pray that you be careful. Nowadays, we have many pastors. Nowadays, everybody is a preacher. It is not bad if really they are living the life of what they are preaching. If they are leading and feeding them the right thing, it's very good. Because the Bible, we are praying always for people to be many teachers so that we can teach globally, extend the gospel. Jesus may come back. Amen. Praise God. Well, okay, I'll call someone. I don't know if it's a Jennifer, you're in a good position. Oh, Sister Flora, I don't know if you're in a position to sing for us like two or three songs. Okay, Agon, Angum, please. Last time we missed you, we don't know. Yes. Yeah, last time we I hear you, Father. Amen. Pardon? Last time we wanted to, to find you, but you left earlier and we did not pray for you, so we do not know. Please speak. Father, you've me. already prayed for me. And um, I'm only coming, uh, not sorry, let me use my proper English. I'm coming back because I still have a problem and I want you to help me, Father. Yes, please. Yeah, speak, sister. Okay. I'm having a drinking problem and smoking problem. Uh, after he prayed for me yesterday, I went to sleep. I had a good sleep. I had the best sleep I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah. And then, and then I went to meet my friend, and I ended up drinking with my friend. And then from drinking with my friend, it made me want to drink more. So then I went to the liquor store and I went and bought more alcohol. And I'm still smoking. I'm not smoking cigarettes. I'm not smoking weed. I'm just smoking vape. My problem is I want to quit everything and I want to follow Jesus. So can you please help me? Yeah, my advice for you first, you know, Mm -hmm. If you really want to stop bad behavior, you have yeah. first to try to say that first give space to your friends that do the same things. Because if you say you want to stop, stop drinking and you go mm -hmm. meet friends who are drinking, you will definitely drink. Because yeah, okay. it happens sometimes this. Sometimes... It's happening where God gave. Yeah? I cannot hear you properly. Okay, you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Oh, what mm -hmm. I advise you first 
Try to take time when those friends of yours who do the such things call you. Try to say, I'm not coming. Give excuse until you are strong fast. Because okay. you can't say, I want, I want to stop smoking. And you go to a place where they are smoking. Yeah. You definitely want to smoke. You can't yeah. say, I don't want to drink. And you go where they are selling alcohol. Of course, you'll, you'll buy and drink. So, yeah. Jesus, many a times, he will want to show you a genuine. If you really want to stop those things, you have to show your effort. Whereby, first, those friends that you do those, try to give them space. Okay. Because you have just heard what I've just said here in the Bible. Bible is saying to us yeah. that God loved people. But when they fail to believe him, yeah. destruction will destroy them. So I request for you yeah. today, try to see that you avoid those friends for a while until you are strong. Okay. When they call you, have an excuse. Say, just give an excuse. Two, three days, you'll find yourself now. Okay. Mm. Because okay, Father. No when problem. I pray for you, a spirit mm -hmm. can leave you. And when that spirit leaves you, then you go back to drinking. That spirit comes back. And when he comes back, he doesn't come back one. He comes with the other seven bad ones. Uh -uh. Yeah. If I pray for you about drinking, and you yourself, yeah, you, you go to where they are drinking, you drink. Your situation looks, it may become very worse. Okay, Father, okay, let me ask you this, yeah? My friends will not be calling me to drink, yes. but they will be calling me to say, I miss you, I want you to come and hang out with me. And then when I go there, I end up, you know, finding them drinking and everything. So I end up drinking too. But it's the missing part, That's you know? I miss you, you, I miss chilling with you. They don't really miss you. You have decided okay. you want to live for Christ. So those yeah. friends, they are not so important for you at the moment. This yeah. is your life because if you die now, you will go to hell. Do yeah. you know that if you die now, if you don't know Jesus, you will go to hell. Whereby you will cry all your life forever. So this is, I advise you, when they call you, keep yourself busy. Praise God. Here in this forum, we have many good people. I think uh, someone will write my number down, then we'll add you in the group, and you'll have friends who will be able in the group to, to be talking to you, to encourage you. Oh, well, yeah. can I Sister Dude? Sorry. Sister Dude? Yeah. Sister Dude? I wonder, 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 can I you say please to help you? me? Can you help me, please? Uh, I'll, I'll, someone I'll... write my number to her. Okay. Yeah, I'll write it down right now. Hey, write a number down, my number down. Then Sister Gun, take my okay, number. I'll add you to the group. Then you'll have friends that will okay, help you. Okay, but I have to join. I have to join Zoom. My sister is always linking me, but I'll write your number down now. Okay, Sister Adut okay. will write my number down. Then okay. you send me WhatsApp number. You send I. Just send a message. Then we'll add okay. you in the group. So that missing you, they don't really miss you. You are now a child. Okay. We'll pray for you, don't worry. Yeah. Here you have many friends in the group. They will talk to you. They will encourage you. They are good women in this forum with past experience worse than yours. And God have helped them to overcome their situation. Now they are good people. So you will feel free to talk to each one of them. I will add you in the group. There is my number. I don't know okay. if you see it. You see my uh, number? Uh, I, I see it. I, see, uh, I don't see it. No, see my number. They have sent my number on the page and the whatever. Okay. Okay. I'll ask my sister. My sister will give it to me. No, she have wrote the number I can't down. See it. I don't know if you see it. I, I cannot see it. I cannot see it. My phone. I don't know what's wrong with my phone, but I cannot see okay. it. Okay. Your sister will give you my number. It's okay. After we pray for you, don't worry. Okay, Sister, do you want to say something? 
Yeah, I want to say, Mama Ibrahim, like, we remember back the history from the beginning, like, uh, when Adam and Eve sinned, when the devil was coming to them, he didn't tell them, as soon as you guys are going to eat, you will be separate from God. But he told them, as soon as you guys eat, your eyes will be open. And that's what the devil do for everyone. He will come and tell you, you know what, just try something nice. It's not going to be bad. Even when, like, imagine you want to you wanna buy something, you don't have money. And you want money... It will tell you just lie for one for one time. It's not a sin. Well, it is sin. God said that. Yeah. Not and that's and then when and then that's what they call a white lie. And then you lie, and then you say, "Oh, it was just a white lie." So, so what? God gonna give, uh, forgive me? And that's the same thing, your friend, because your friend is still possessed by a demon, by the way. So whenever they say, "I miss you," is a way to come to you. It's not because they really miss you, but they wanted to drag you from wherever you are. They will say, "I miss you," or they will tell you good word. Remember that last time, remember this, remember this. That's why I say do not remember yeah. the past. Whatever it is, good or bad, yeah. do, don't even remember when you accept Christ. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. yeah, thank you. So don't worry, sister. In this forum, mm -hmm. all this you see, your sisters and brothers, they will, yeah. as I add you on the group, they will talk to you, they will encourage you, they will give you comfort. Yeah. So you will not feel lonely. I know to start a new life is not easy, you are like a baby. So you need people to talk to you, you need people to encourage you, so. Yeah, it's not easy. I know it's not easy. So yeah. I, Adut, you help me that you make sure she have my number, or you send me her number. Please, Adut. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can tell you my number right now. Yes, I will. I will send I will send her number to you later on. So you can add yes, the group. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. You, yeah. Yeah. Just feel like Thank you, Baba. your brothers and sisters. Yeah, will help you to see okay. that, uh, your family. Oh, we have been there. Our situation was worse than yours. Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry. Yeah. Well, we pray for you. Yeah, okay. sister Jennifer. Okay. Mm. Sister Jennifer. Praise God, Baba. Praise God, everyone. Thank you so Hi. much. Um, my sister Angom, my namesake. We are all sinners and we are all fighting for that. That word. Well done, my faithful servant. Yeah. Um, for me, I wanted to sing. I don't know if I can sing now or it's afterwards. Yes, you can, sister. Okay, thank you. I also want to testify, I am healed. I am okay now. I thank God. Thank you for praying for me the other day. I got uh, instant healing Amen. from that headache. Yes, I thank God Amen. for that. Thank you. Amen. If only you, Jesus, it's only you. Lord, it's only you, it's only you. Jesus is only, O oh Lord, is only you, is only you. Jesus is only, O oh Lord, is only you, it's only you. Jesus is only, yes, you great wake up, great wake up. Yes, you wake up. We wake up. Yes, you wake up. Yes, you ring, Kenny, ring, Kenny. Yes, you ring, Kenny. Yes, you ring, Kenny. In Kenny. Yes, you ring. Oh, yes, you ring, Kenny. In Kenny, yes, in oh, yes, in Kenny, in Kenny, yes, in oh, God is only you, is only you, Jesus is all, oh, Lord is only you. Jesus is only you. Amen, Kwana Yesu. Amen, Amen, 
Ami nikwana Yesu, ami nikwana ami ni. Oh, wajalo lutino juju itingirwa. Oh, wajalo, wajalo, wajalo lutino juju itingirwa. Wajalo Yesu wajalo. Oh, ami ni pego juju itingirwa. Ami ni, ami ni. Amini pego de chingi ro oh ami Yesu amini oh amini Yesu amini kona Yesu amini 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 kona Yesu oh amini kona amini Hallelujah praise God Thank you. Amen. Amen. You have done us well. Most especially when I see you take me back to Uganda. He will wait to He is only you, Jesus. Is I want you to open your mouth and tell him. It is only him can take you out of that thing you are complaining. I may not really know exactly what is troubling you. I want you, as I sing this song, Tell him that if your problem is poverty, it is only Jesus can take you out of poverty. If your problem is sickness, tell him, it is only you can heal me this cancer. It's only you can take me out of this trouble. Tell him, as I sing this song, say it like you mean it. You will testify. We come, we and my sister, tell Jesus, it is only you can save me out of this addiction. It is only you can separate me from this kind of friend. It is only you can change my life because I really decided I want to follow you. Do as God leads me to tell you. Do it, you will testify. Where we come, is only you, Jesus is only you, is only you, Jehovah is only. It's only you, Jesus, only you. Ah, it's only you, Jehovah, it's only you. Talk to him. It's only you, it's only you. It's only you, deliver I, it's only you, Jesus, it's only you. It's only you, Daddy. It's only you. Ni wewe tu, Baba. Ni wewe tu. Take me your light to. Ni wewe tu, Bana. Ni wewe tu. Mungu wa wa mungu. Ni wewe tu, Baba. Ni wewe tu, Baba. Ni wewe tu. Ah, it's only you, Jesus, it's only you. It's only you, Daddy, it's only you. It's only you, Savior, it's only you. Oh, ni wewe tu, Baba, ni wewe tu. Ah, ni wewe tu, Baba, ni wewe tu. It is only you, Jesus, can take them out of their situation. 
It is only you, Jesus, can end that addiction. It's only you, Jesus. It is only you can separate them from sin. It's only you who have the answer to every problem. You are the only one who have an answer to every question. It is only you the solution in a time like this. It is only you, Jesus. Hear their cry, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. I want you and I, let us stretch our hand and pray for our sister, Agun. She really wants to follow Jesus, but she's still disturbed by addiction. She doesn't like what she's doing. I want you and I to raise our voice and cry to God concerning her. We put an end to that, that Jesus give her a new life. She just trying to say, after prayer, she was able to sleep, the sleep that she have never slept. He say, give his children sound sleep. So we don't want only her to experience sleep. We want her to feel the urge of alcohol. Addiction is no more. Raise your voice. If you can unmute, you unmute, we cry to God concerning her. The Bible says that there is joy in heaven when one chooses to come to Jesus. There is joy. I want us to cry to God. Call on God concerning our sister. Call on him. If you can unmute, please, you can. Praise God. Our heavenly Father, the God of mercies, we have heard you pronouncing judgment to everyone that do not believe. At this time, O oh God, we remember where you have taken us from and where you have brought us. We, we are grateful and say thank you. Jesus we bring Jesus. our sister, Agum, as she cry and say, I want to follow Jesus. I am tired of my life. I am tired of my teacher. I am tired of my behavior. I am tired of this life. I am tired of sin. He confess what you say. Confess your sin and you shall down. Those as we come before you, for you are God that never You have said, when two or three gather in your name, you are here. Lord, we call unto you, for you have said, O God, our work is to pray, and you will answer. Join our hands in prayer as we stretch our hands towards you. In the name of Jesus, you are the clean spirit of addiction. Wherever you are, in our system, out you demon, whatever she may have done to, to lead to be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Every unclean spirit troubling her life, out you demon, spirit of smoking, spirit of bad behavior, in our wherever, every spirit that is not of God, wherever you are, out of our system, addiction, out you demon, out you Satan, with all your trouble, out you demon, in the name of Jesus, out you demon, whatever covenant you are under with the demon, be this mountain. Whatever covenant you are under with the dead, be this mountain. Every agreement you are under with the hell shall not stand. Agreement of polygamy, I'll break it in the name of Jesus. Covenant of polygamy, be destroyed. Every spirit that is not of God, wherever it is in your system, out you demon, out you spirit, in the name of Jesus, I declare you free, in the name of Jesus, I declare you free, never again will you have urge of smoking, never again will you have urge of drinking alcohol, never again will you have urge to sleep around, in the name of Jesus, I declare a new life. I declare a new life in the name of Jesus. Never again I separate you from bad company. I connect you to God people, inspiring people in the name of Jesus. And you begin to life.
In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. It's well with you, sis. We'll keep in touch to see you grow in the Lord and God will use you. Amen. You start having good dreams. Thank you for praying. God bless you. Let us clap for Jesus because I met this sister in the forum and we thank God she confessed. So she's a child of God. So I want you, sister, to believe you are born again no matter what you did after Jesus loves you. Don't feel guilty, no. Just uh, you will have, I believe you, if you have a Bible, if you don't have a Bible, I'll ask sister do to find you a Bible. Do you have a Bible? Sister Guni, do you have a Bible? Yes, Papa, there is a Bible because there's a lot of Bible I left at home. And I thank God it was English Bible that I used to use. It's at home there and then she was using it. Yeah, so, yeah, there are a lot of Bible, but I, I want you please to help me and give her a Bible. As okay, a present. Right. Okay, that one, would... everything she wants, which is in the Bible. So you will give her a Bible. Then we'll yeah. arrange how to see that we help her to stay firm. Only what, okay. don't let her think that Jesus is con No, now she's a child of God. What she have done in the past, that is forgiven. Praise God. I, I always tell her that, but like, I remember what, what you teach us a year ago. So in those two days that she's been talking to me, I always tell her everything that I know. Yeah, Papa, I guess I, have, uh, I want to testify. Yes, please. It's, she's about to say it, but it's okay. I will say it. Yesterday, when you were praying, you were praying for Sister Wilma for a job. Mm. And then she told me that time before in the morning that uh, there's a people going to, she will go for interview and she doesn't know if she's going to get it or not. And then yesterday, when you were praying, I didn't. I asked for prayer request already, and you prayed for me. And I forgot to ask for you to, to, to pray for her for the job. So when you were praying for Sister Wilma, I claimed the job too for her. And then today she went wow. and she found it. I really thank God. <laughs> I really thank God for that. And it was really amazing. So, Papa, pray for her to continue that and to be permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Yeah, you know, when last time I told her, when I introduced Jesus to her, I told her she should ask everything because now she's a baby. You know, when you are just born again, everything you say to God that time, he do it for you because the spirit of God is with you. So everything she asked where she is now, God will do it. She should not only allow herself to try to remember or feel guilt of whatever she have ever done. Whatever she have done in the past, right from now, it is forgotten. So it's a new chapter. So what did she tell God will do? What did she ask God will do it for her? So we thank God for the job be permanent. She will start a good life. We just need to be as brothers and sisters to reach out to her, to encourage her. Yeah, as a baby, you know, baby, they are learning how to, to say, ma, ma. Ten, ten. So that is how is it? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Is that again? I will say this many a times. Whenever you are under a man or woman of God, pray, claim it, even if you don't need to mention, because time will come when we are about one million people. So one million people. It is very difficult for me to stand and mention everyone problem on that very day. So once you hear healing and you need healing, you say, God, heal me now, you'll be healed. When you hear a blessing, you say, Lord, when you bless him, also bless. That's what they do in Christianity. That's faith. You receive. Praise God. You just stop and God will do it for you. So we rejoice and thank God and salute your faith. Amen. We take sister also, we thank God for our sister Jennifer.
You know, last time actually, when I saw that name of your sister, the last name look at the first name. So I started saying, I think his name, but I didn't know. I thank God also for Sister Jennifer Hibbing. So we are waiting to hear also she received money. Okay, Sister Sophie, we hear from you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Amen, Sister. I am very happy. As you see me, I'm happy, brother and sister, for what God has done in my family. I really, really, really happy for what has happened at home in the village. Wow, God has made it. My grandma was serving the hours we like serving the hado. Then after they've been praying for my grandma for a long time to get saved. She doesn't want to get saved. And still God make it for her. I've been asking for prayer requests time and time and time for my family because I want them to get saved. I want my grandma to burn the hadio. Really, God has make it. God has make it really for my grandma. God has changed my grandma. My grandma must get saved. I am very happy. I am so happy. Now they have burned all the hadio. My mom has become a, a child of God. I am very happy for my grandma. I am very happy for everyone in the family for what God has done. If not God, my grandma will live in the sin. Now my grandma has become a child of God. I am very happy for what God has done in the life of my grandmother and all the family member. Thank you so much. Thank you for being prayed for my grandma. Thank you so much. God has made it. And not that, I want to thank God because as I talk right now, it's fine. Everyone is fine in my family. I am so happy. I am so happy for my family. And not that, some two weeks back, I asked for a prayer request. When I asked for a prayer request, cause I want to buy my, yeah, I want to buy soap. I want to buy things here. Yeah, I want to buy my things. Then God has make it. When I asked for a prayer request, he told me, Sophia, don't worry. They are going to surprise you. They will buy for you more than what you asked for. Yesterday, we went for the supermarket. When we go to the supermarket, really that supermarket was really expensive. When I reached there, when I was on the way going, the Spirit of God remind me that, Sophia, don't be afraid. You will get what you want. Really, then I hear that voice. When I reached there, I entered in the supermarket with the mother of my boss. When I entered there, all the thing was very expensive. I was said, oh, I cannot buy it. I said like that, I stop it. Then I said the woman, I said, eh, let's have a kulu, add a kulu shegali dake dukanada. Then like, he said, Sophia, don't worry, don't worry. Then he called the son. At first, God has sent an angel, a lady with even we don't know. She came with a vehicle, a new vehicle. The lady is an Arab woman, is still a young lady like me. She came out. He said, can I give you a ride, please? I take you to another supermarket. He tell the, the mother of my boss. Then I was said, I keep quiet because then I look at the lady. The lady said, please, mama, she asked the mother of my boss, let us take you to another supermarket. The mother of my boss has refused. <laughs> then after, the mother of my boss called the son. When he called the son, the young boy, the son said, okay, I will come and take. Then he said, can you come and take Sophia to buy what she want? I was really so blessed. They just come and drive. They take me to another supermarket. I is there. I saw. I saw very sick. A lot of sick. I have sick. I'm going to give everyone at home. One, one, one. I was so blessed yesterday. I'm very happy as you see me. I bought a lot of things to witness. You can even see and witness. This is pineapple. This is what I use for my body. This is what I bought. I bought a lot. I bought perfume. I bought soap. You can see I bought a lot of things. I bought many things. This is to witness. I don't tell lies. I bought many and many and many and many. I was very happy when I bought. 
the stroller was full. I said, what? Did I have really the money? <laughs> what we raised there? I paid my money, was not enough. Then the, 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 the boy was standing there. Then the boy he came, then I said, ah, let me take this thing back because the money is not enough. The boy pulled the money, he paid everything for me. I was very happy because if I is at home, I will not be ashamed. I know next month I'm going back to Uganda. I'm very happy. I thank God for what God has done so much. I thank God so much. Thank you so much for praying for me, Kasule Ibrahim. What you spoke, the other time has passed to come. So I give God glory. Thank you so much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. Yeah, God is faithful. May you continue to live in the light of your testimony. We are happy when we see you happy. Heaven rejoice when you are happy. Someone else may see it as something small, but when I look back how we have come and how you are speaking, talking nowadays, I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sister. That's how you continue to testify. We rejoice with you. May God continue to bless that family. Out of what they have spent on you, they will never even remember it because God is blessing them all for your sake. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Agnes, we see you. <clears throat> Praise God. Hallelujah, Sister Agnes. Thank you. I want to give a testimony for Amen. last time I asked for the prayer request for my brother because they were having uh, issues in the house. So the family members came and they sit down, discuss the issues. And I call my brother. So he told me they have been discussing. There is a changes, but deep in the heart, you know, people are different. Some people, when thing being discussed, they forget some people it take time for them to forget all what has been going on. So I thank God for that, that there is changes in their family. And I uh, still ask God to touch them, both of them, that what has been going on each of them should forget. You should come with a new life because in the family, think can happen. There is no any other family that they will not have no problem. So I want God to help them to come back in normal life, like when they meet before. Thank you. And uh, with me, I'm okay. But what I have now, I feel like heart problem. There is something moving in my heart. I try to cool myself. Sometimes I lying like a face, I lying down, stomach. Still I wake up. I do have the same feeling. There is something moving in my heart. I feel like I don't know, don't understand. And I feel bitterness sometimes coming when I try to think. I could feel something coming just automatic in my heart. I need prayers for that. Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Just continue <clears throat> praising God most of the time. The more you praise God, you will realize something wonderful taking place in your life. Yeah, we pray for you. Yeah, when, when we God has like started, once we pray over a matter like concerning your brother, just keep observing because I know one thing, God cannot make me say something and he will not do it. It will never happen. Mm -hmm. right. He must fulfill um, it so that you that listen know that he called me. Because if mm -hmm. I say things are going to happen, people will say maybe it's just um, it's just like any other. No. When God used me to say something, 
He will make sure that he fulfill it. So Amen. just observe your brother. He will come in and testify that the wife and everything, they are okay. Praise God. It doesn't matter how the thing takes long. I know one thing. The Lord said, if I only say, so shall it be. The Bible confirms and say, confirm the word of his servant. How will they know if it's God who has sent him? It's when he says something and it comes to pass. I have realized one thing that God has blessed me in a sense whereby, even if I don't pray, once I say, you will say, say. So I know it will happen. God is working the answer. Praise God. So I request for your sake, most especially, try to see you spend time thanking God and singing praises. When the joy comes in your heart, bitterness will not have place. Amen. Bitterness always comes when you remember how people, uh, you know, you, you have done a lot for people. You have sacrificed a lot for people. When you are expecting people to say thank you, they bring back insult, insult or disrespect. You do good things, but no one acknowledges you. So as a human, you will feel bad as a person. But you activate, you take this, spend time singing or thanking Jesus. The more you take, you know, there is a word, thank you, Jesus. That word leads to self-deliverance. When you are thanking Jesus in your heart, before you know you get delivered and you will not know. Before you know you get healed and you will not know. You just realize the pain you have been having is gone. Praise God. Yeah. We text this at Jennifer. Yes. Yes, Papa. One thing more. One more thing. Like um, in the morning time, I could wake up. When I join the line, I do sleep in the middle. Most of the time, I do sleep, even if I try my best. From nowhere, I find that I already sleep. Don't worry. Once you join line, whether you sleep, heaven have recorded you have entered in the forum. Satan is just a foolish person. Amen. He should try so much that he should not join line. Once you join, even if you fall asleep, it's just wasting his time. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Don't let that worry. If you join and you Amen. sleep, don't worry. Heaven have recorded you have entered. So it's Amen. just a foolish person. He's supposed to stop you not to join. But once you join, and you fall asleep. You will soon see me preaching in your dream. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So don't worry yourself. If you come and you sleep, sleep well and have dream. Don't worry that you're sleeping when I'm preaching. Don't worry, sleep well and have dream. Because when I'm preaching and you're sleeping, you will not have nightmare. So why don't let that one why that one don't need prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Of course, I want If to you join here and you fall asleep, sleep and have dream. Praise okay. God. Afterwards, tell us what was your dream. Amen. Why? Hey, don't let that one make you worry. He should supposed to stop you joining, but once he allows you to join and he makes you sleep, sleep and dream. Amen. Praise God. Satan is just a foolish man. Let us take Sister Jennifer. Don't let that one worry you. God, I've counted, I've set you aside. You are his own. Amen. Satan is just want to use some little things. Things are not happening the way you want. Small, small things. So when you focus on this, you forget how God has blessed you. I'll give you one word. Millions of people from where you come from, they admire you, but you don't know. I will stop there. Sister Jennifer. Thank you, Baba. Praise God. Amen. Uh, my Amen. Prayer, amen. Uh, my prayer request would be, um, I want you all to stand with me in prayers for my sister, Anna. She's uh, come to Kampala now, but she's in Seta. So I'm yet planning to go and visit them, I think on Monday for healing. Uh, she's still complaining of the burning feet and uh yes so that diabetes and all that 
I want you to stand to continue standing with me in prayers. And uh, secondly, um, I need uh, financial stability. I started that business. People have taken the things. They have not paid me any money yet. They keep saying they will give me, they will give me. So yes, I need God's favor. Thank you, Baba. Okay, we start praying for money. We pray tomorrow there will be some people will give you your money and they will stop coming to borrow. Amen. They'll give you in cash. Praise God. Amen. We are going to pray. Then your sister, I think you mentioned this, is it yesterday to me? I want you to hold your stomach to pray for her. Because I saw people yesterday, I told you, I I saw a big angel leading me. And I saw hundreds, thousands of people being dismissed from hospital. I want you to stretch your hand and we pray for our sister. I know you may not mention what she's suffering, but Jesus know, and you have told me some. Your visitation to visit her, you are coming to tell us, you are going to text, if we'll be in fellowship that day, you are going to tell her, She's doing what she could not do. Stretch your hand. We are in the arena of liberty. How will they know that God exists? It's when he heals, when he delivers. The Lord said to me, there will be no poor in our midst. You are still struggling. Stretch your hand, sister. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it again, Holy Spirit. Do it again in our life. Do it again. In the name of Jesus. I speak in this business. You did not desire, started this business to borrow people. You did not desire start this business for credit. Anyone who is coming for credit, they will no longer come to this business. Only those who are coming to pay in cash and whoever have taken it for credit, I speak in their life to have and to be able to bring money. I call some of them tomorrow at this time to come and pay your money. If really I be a man of God, you will testify that somebody, some came and paid. In the name of Jesus, that spirit that has been assigned to take what you have received, may the Lord rebuke it. You, spirit of poverty, I separate you from this business. I speak multiplication in your hand. For the Bible says, we shall not beg to eat, but we shall have plenty to share. May you have plenty through this business that you can share to others. I speak multiplication, wisdom, business partners, good ideas for increase in Jesus' name. This our sister, whether diabetes, whether HIV, whether cancer, name calling of whatever disease he may have or sickness, knowing and knowing it. I command that whatever it she may have done, wrong, knowing and knowing, be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that have taken her from where she is to compile for medication, you have made a mistake. Wherever you are, I remind you, Jesus have defeated you, Satan. In the name of Jesus, I said, Behold, I give you power to trample upon snake and scorpion. I trample upon every scorpion and snake in the life of this woman. Whatever she may have done to lead to this, I speak she's forgiven. When Jesus forgive, Thank <laughs> you. 
You have done me well. You okay. have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus. Umetenda mema. Umetenda mema. Umetenda mema. Yesu. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Wherever you are operating in a system, I command you right now, in the name of Jesus, lose your grief, your Satan, the cause of trouble. whereby they do not understand whether they treat what they could not understand. I know one thing, demon, you are behind it. You demon, you are behind a situation. You unclean spirit, you are behind a condition. In the name of Jesus, I command you devil with all your infirmity out of our system, out of our body, out you demon. Out you Satan, in the name of Jesus, I declare total healing. Let there be a new blood given unto her. I say to you, sister, that is not where you belong. Rise up out of that sick bed. I declare you free. I decree you healed. Now by the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, I release you, pack your Lord and live back home in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We want to hear from you, sister, concerning our sis, because he's healed. We want to hear from you. Thank you, Jesus. Our sister, Amen. I see the hand of our sister, Evelyn. Long time. You're welcome, sis. Greetings, Baba. Greetings, sister. Good morning. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just give thanks to God to hear your voice, a physical today and a spiritual. Amen. Me too. I just put my head up because I was laughing here. You were talking and maybe it's hard to understand what you're saying. I just want to tell the sister here or brother here, what you are saying is true. You know, I'm, I've am i been a long time, physical coming here, but every day I'm with you, hearing your voice. When you're sleeping, when you're looking, you're not looking, but when you connect with the real child of God, children of God, Baba Abraham say, even though you're looking, you're not there, you will hear him in the spirit, indeed, is correct. Take it that word serious. This, our brother, this, our papa, this, our pastor, the child of God is true child of God. As about him, you will know, God will tell you exactly. So I just give glory to God. I continue to do what you're doing. Uh, I love you like Jesus love you. And again, your door, your window, side of us, when you start, when you come outside, right side, you have a window there. Expect the angel one day will come through that window. 
as I say, the, the, the star, children of God, continue to come connect with him. The same thing he will tell you is uh, one day, physically. Many star that you cannot understand. So God bless you, Baba. God love you so much. You are always, mm -hmm. always. Sometimes we are meeting in a cloud. I don't know where God is taking you. I don't know where God is taking me. Let us be. Nobody will understand you. Nobody understand me. And I, we don't want nobody to even understand me. Because everything that God wants to do is not for everybody. So I came to realize, yes, that's why. Let us continue. Yesterday, two angels knocked my door. I opened the deliver two, I mean, later. It is for me, but I come to realize God humble and God speak and the day is close that the whole nation will know that who you are. People around you may not know, but it is almost time. I'm so happy for God. God bless you. I love you. Amen. I love you too, sister. You are always in my prayer. You may not all of you see me, but you are. There is power today now. There is power today in the hands of God. There is healing today in the hands of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the hands of the Lord. There is purity today in the hands of the Lord. There is love today. In the house of the Lord, there is power today. In the house of the Lord, in the house of the Lord, there is unity today. In the house of the Lord, there is pleasing today. In the house of the Lord, there is power today. In the house of the Lord, in the house of the Lord. Is you. Amen. You, you are, you are you are my desire now, God. You are my thing. You are my thing. You are my desire now, God. Mm, you are my thing, you are my thing, you are my thing, son of God. You are my thing, you are my thing, you are my thing, now God, you are holy, you are holy, you are holy, son of God, mm. you are holy, you are holy. You are holy, God. 
Amen, Baba. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, we thank God for you. That is God in His nature. Yeah, we take another sister. I see another hand. I'm using phone. If somebody wants to say something, I think we are prayed for all. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Baba Ibrahim. Hello, can you hear me, Baba? Yeah, do me favor. In faith, we stretch our hands. I want to pray for you. Then, uh, <laughs> Baba Ibrahim. Yes. Um, I want. I need a prayer request for Susie and her family. Um, uh, Susanna, uh, Susanna, um. Simon, I think she lost her uncle today, so I need a prayer for her and her family. Yeah. Okay, we'll pray for her. Go to comfort them. Thank you, Baba. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, you say we mourn with those who mourn. All I pray for the family that remain behind by the loss of the person. Let this bring them closer to you, O oh God. Through this, O oh God, may you bring unity among them. Let there be transformation. Draw them more closer to you, O oh God. I know heart broken with many questions as individuals ask themselves. Father, come in this situation. There is no word we can say for such people, but only you, you have a word for them. It's my prayer, Father, that you visit them, strengthen them as a family. They have many questions, but you have answers. May you answer them in this time. May you answer them. May you give them the word. May you give them the reason to be strengthened. We thank you, Lord, for you have made us understand it's too better to go to a house where they are more than where they are married. Father, we pray you do something wonderful in this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I still see, I still see my sister. I believe sister Evelyn, you are done, right? Uh, and sister. I pray, they request the same uh, as this sister. Uh, my children, auntie die. I just want uh, God because before I heard the news yesterday, God take me there and I see a lot of things going on and people gather. And when I wake up, I say, God, mercy. And all that, indeed, uh, like 10 minutes later, I receive call. Yes, where God take me is true. Uh, she passed away. So immediately they even uh, uh, bury her because soon she died, she begin to spoil so she cannot be keep it. So I just want, God already revealed and everything done. I just want God to comfort everybody hard because a lot of things going on there. And I tried to call, call yesterday. No one is answering. Born and, you know, when people, something like a death in a family, people don't understand. A lot of people don't understand. So fight you there, all that, and a lot of confusion in that family right now as I'm speaking. So I want God to, to calm everybody down. Amen. Thank you. After this prayer, there will be peace and love among them. 
Mm. Our Lord, our God, you are a God who hear the cry of your people. We bring this anti family. We know in Africa when people die, many think of their properties, many cry waiting to, watch, to, to share what the person have left. To you, Lord, we come to say, Father, have mercy on this family. Wherever and whatever, wave and wind, I decree calmness, confusion, misunderstanding, fighting for things they do not work for. I call decree calmness in this family. Jesus stood in the midst of the barn. So I stand in the midst of this family. I decree calmness. Any strange thing that wants to take place, be calm. Every turbulence, calmness, east, west, south, calmness in the children, calmness in the family members, calmness in the friends, calmness, be calm. Be calm. I command love and peace, unity among them. Calmness, be calm. Every wave and wind, calmness. Calmness, calmness. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. There is calmness. You will hear from them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I want you, before I pray for you, help me with stretch our hands and pray for our nations. You know your nation, pray for your leader and pray for church leaders. Pray for many of our sisters and brothers. I perceive many have started gathering, which is good. Pray for them that whoever God have touched his heart or heart to have a fellowship either on Zoom, that God may equip them, may God strengthen them, which is a very good thing. Ask God to speak to them, God to lead them in the truth, that they may be able to feed his people. Pray for them. Some of you, I know you go to Facebook and preach, which is very good. Some of you, you go to hospital and pray for people, which is very good. Pray for such people. For the harvest is wide, but the workers are few, so we are praying. So you are one of them. In the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I commit my sisters and brothers that you have put in their heart either to start a fellowship, either on Zoom, either a house fellowship, wherever they are. I speak your presence, be with them. Help them to overcome their weakness and help them to stand firm. Provide for them. Touch the heart of men and women to listen to them. When they pray, may you answer. Open their eyes to see in the spirit. Open their ears to hear your voice. Let there be relationship between you and them. I ask for fresh anointing for all men and women of God. Wherever they are, let there be fresh anointing. For we are struggling to be like you, Jesus. Take away jealousy, envy, fighting for unnecessary things. For I have realized that a true prophet or a man of God is the one who contents himself with fewer ones than many others. I ask for fresh anointing. Without anointing, there is no healing. Without anointing, there is no deliverance. I ask for your anointing upon your people. Let the anointing that breaks the yoke. We are struggling to be like you. We are fighting against ourselves. Father, we have turned the house of God a place of war. Let all this trouble in the church cease. Devil, wherever you are, out of the church of God. The gates of hell shall not prevail over the church. In the name of Jesus, I speak wisdom and understanding. New fresh anointing upon the church. A fresh anointing upon all ministers. I bring our leaders in the government, in different nations, wherever they are. I ask for wisdom, understand, peace, and understand. Deliver them from corruption, 
all unnecessary bloodshed delivery. Deliver our nation from, mis from killing, stealing, and destruction. Deliver our leaders from corruption, misrule, misappropriation in the name of Jesus. I commit our nations, east, west, south, north. I command, I commit them in your hand. Let there be peace in the east, west, south, in the entire world. I command peace. Where there is war, cease. I command peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I commit your people, stretch your hand. I declare blessing upon each one of you. Some you may not ask, but that very thing that I brought you in the forum, may God grant you in the name of Jesus. I speak favor upon you. I speak in grace. Eyes be open spiritually. Your mind be open spiritually. May you experience God. May you experience visitation. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And any tongue raised against you in judgment, I stand to condemn you. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. You are blessed. Praise be to God. I request this, my highly beloved sisters and brothers. You stretch your hand, you pray for your brother Ibrahim. Praise God.